In Hawaii, a groundbreaking transportation project is reshaping Honolulu's urban landscape and redefining the way its residents navigate their island paradise. The Skyline Honolulu Railway, a marvel of modern engineering and the first fully automated driverless metro system in the United States, is more than just a rail line. It's a bold solution to one of America's most persistent traffic nightmares. Stretching nearly 20 miles across Oahu, Skyline promises to connect bustling city centers with suburban havens, offering a swift and sustainable alternative to the gridlocked highways that have long frustrated commuters. But this megaproject is not without its drama. Plagued by political debates, staggering cost overruns, and delays that have tested the patience of an entire island, Skyline's journey from concept to reality has been a roller coaster of triumphs and setbacks. Today, let's delve into Hawaii's $13 billion new rail project, exploring its vision, controversies, and innovations that make it one of the most compelling infrastructure projects in America. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Hawaii is undeniably one of the most breathtaking destinations on the planet, with its highways offering some of the most picturesque road trips in the U.S winding through lush landscapes and along pristine coastlines. However, navigating these roads isn't always smooth. Despite their stunning scenery, heavy traffic often leads to frustrating delays. Historically, Hawaii has lacked viable alternatives such as passenger or freight rail systems. Yet, this wasn't always the case. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the islands were home to several rail networks, primarily used for transporting goods. Over time, however, these systems were shut down due to escalating costs and outdated infrastructure. Until now, Hawaii's rail systems only existed for tourism. While several proposals for additions were pushed throughout the years, none ever gained any steam. Then, as road traffic began to increase around the mid-2000s, particularly in Honolulu, officials began circulating ideas once again. Over the years, as population growth and urban development intensified, the need for a comprehensive public transportation system became more urgent. It wasn't until 2005 that the project gained momentum when the Hawaii State Legislature passed legislation authorizing a new county surcharge on the general excise tax to fund the rail system. In 2008, voters finally approved an idea for a 20-mile elevated railway from the suburbs of Oahu to the bustling capital Honolulu. Initially estimated to cost $5 billion, the project promised to alleviate congestion and reduce emissions while providing a faster alternative to the bus system by 2020. In 2010, the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation was established to oversee the planning, construction, and operation of the rail system. This marked a pivotal moment setting the stage for the realization of the Skyline project. The project's primary objective was to provide a reliable and efficient transportation alternative along Oahu's south shore, connecting East Kapolei to Ala Moana Center. The finalized path of the Skyline Railway will be a 20-mile two-track structure with 21 stations. On average, the trains will travel 30 miles per hour, cutting some commuting times in half and eliminating traffic by 40,000 cars daily. Officials project around 100,000 passengers will ride the train daily. Skyline is also the first fully automated and driverless urban light metro system in the United States. The trains are equipped with advanced control systems that ensure safe and efficient operation without the need for onboard operators. This automation enhances operational reliability, reduces labor costs, and minimizes human error. The stations are equipped with platform screen doors, a safety feature commonly found in modern metro systems worldwide. These doors prevent passengers from accidentally falling onto the tracks and enhance the overall safety and efficiency of the system. The railway will be built on an elevated platform, a practical choice given the diverse and uneven terrain of the islands. Constructing above the ground is often more straightforward and efficient than cutting directly through the landscape. This elevated approach tends to be more cost-effective, as the tracks are typically lighter and narrower compared to those used in underground or traditional rail systems. Additionally, 
This design enhances both speed and safety, all while enabling normal activities to continue uninterrupted beneath the rail line. The trains are designed with energy-efficient features, including regenerative braking systems that capture and reuse energy. Additionally, the rail system is powered by electricity, contributing to reduced emissions compared to fossil fuel-powered vehicles. Skyline is also designed to integrate seamlessly with Honolulu's existing bus network. Passengers can use a single smart card for both bus and rail services. This integration simplifies payment and facilitates smooth transfers between different modes of public transportation. The development of Skyline has been divided into three main phases, each encompassing specific sections of the rail line and associated infrastructure. The first phase of the Skyline project spans approximately 11 miles and includes nine stations, connecting East Kapolei to Aloha Stadium. Construction for this phase began in 2011, and after numerous delays and setbacks, it was finally completed and opened to the public in June 2023. This phase serves key residential and commercial areas, offering a vital link between suburban communities and central Honolulu. The initial phase was celebrated as a major milestone, marking the commencement of passenger services and setting the stage for future expansion. The second phase extends the rail line by 5.2 miles and includes four additional stations. Notably, this phase will serve the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, providing a critical connection between the airport and the city. The integration of the rail system with the airport is expected to enhance convenience for travelers and support tourism, a vital sector of Hawaii's economy. Construction for this phase is ongoing, with the guideway and track work already finished. Passenger service is anticipated to commence in late 2025. The final phase of the Skyline project will extend the rail line through downtown Honolulu, reaching the Civic Center near Ala Moana Center, the city's largest shopping mall. This 4.1-mile stretch will include six stations, serving key urban destinations such as Chinatown, the Financial District, and government buildings. The completion of this phase will mark the culmination of the Skyline project, resulting in a 20-mile fully operational rail system. The project's full build-out is expected to be completed by 2031. Despite its ambitious plans, the Skyline project has faced numerous challenges, many of which have sparked public and political controversy. One of the most significant challenges has been the project's escalating costs. Originally estimated at $5 billion, the total cost ballooned to $10 billion in 2021. As of today, the cost of the project has risen to nearly $13 billion. This increase has been attributed to various factors, including rising construction costs, design changes, and unforeseen technical challenges. Delays have also plagued the project, with the original completion date pushed back multiple times. The final phase, initially expected to be operational by 2026, is now projected to be completed by 2031. Meanwhile, the project has been a focal point of political debate in Hawaii, with critics questioning its cost-effectiveness and necessity. Some have argued that the funds could have been better allocated to other infrastructure projects or social programs. Public opinion has been divided, with some residents expressing frustration over the delays and cost overruns, while others remain optimistic about the project's long-term benefits. The construction of the rail system has raised concerns about its impact on the environment and cultural sites. Some areas along the rail route contain sensitive ecosystems and significant archaeological sites, prompting the need for extensive environmental impact assessments and mitigation measures. Balancing development with environmental and cultural preservation has been a core challenge for this project. Despite the challenges, Skyline is poised to bring numerous benefits to Honolulu and the broader Oahu community. Skyline is expected to significantly improve mobility, particularly for residents living in suburban areas with limited access to reliable public transportation. By providing a fast, efficient, and affordable transit option, 
the rail system will enhance connectivity across the island. The project is anticipated to stimulate economic growth by encouraging transit-oriented development around rail stations. New residential and commercial projects near rail stations are expected to generate economic activity, create jobs, and contribute to the revitalization of urban areas. Also, by reducing reliance on private vehicles, Skyline will contribute to lower greenhouse gas emissions and improved air quality. The project aligns with Hawaii's broader sustainability goals, including its commitment to achieving 100% renewable energy by 2045. With 40% of the project still unfinished, Skyline has a significant journey ahead before the rail line fully extends into downtown Honolulu. As the burden of covering budget overruns falls on local residents and businesses, many are questioning whether the promised benefits will justify the hefty price tag. The ultimate value of Hawaii's new rail system remains uncertain, and only time will reveal whether the investment will prove worthwhile. Ultimately, Skyline's success has the potential to serve as a model for other cities seeking to modernize their public transportation systems and promote sustainable urban development. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.